<laughs> What's up you guys, this is Evil Force here and today I'm gonna do a deck for a video Oh, you guys guessed it Shadows Everybody's talking about it Everybody's playing it and apparently everybody's playing this deck in my locals because as soon as this deck becomes out of the play in the TCG everybody's like oh my god this is like the top best favorite deck to play so Yep, I follow the band again and I seek out the cards, I bought the cards and pick out the cards that I needed for the deck and I actually built this deck so that I can do this deck profile video for you guys. But uh, one main reason why I made this deck is yes, this deck is very very good and very very effective but one major, one key big factor why I pick out this deck is because of Elk Shadow Window. Like, this guy's so good. Like, so, so very good. Like, Window, I think, he just answers so many key things that's out in the matter, matter that's going on right now. Like, Window is so good. Alright, so, before I get into the actual deck profile video, I actually play tested with this deck with two other versions. I Play this deck with this deck with with the light storm version. I play this deck with with this deck by running Armageddon Knight, but I think this deck is by far the more effective and far more superior than the other two deck that I actually play this deck with. So with with that aside, let's get into the actual deck profile. So for the Shadow Monster lineup, I gotta start with my absolute top favorite shadow monster in the entire deck and that is three copies of shadow beast but the main reason being is that this card is your draw engine and you guys know how important draw power is in this game and shadow beast just gives you so much draw power to this deck that it is not even funny so what this shadow beast does is that when this card is flipped face up you draw, you draw two cards and then you discard one. So if it's a shadow monster, you get their effect as well. So that flip effect alone is so good. And that's, that is not all. When this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you also draw a card. Like, so good. If you guys are playing shadows, I highly recommend to run triple copies of shadow beast. It gives you that much speed and consistency to the stack that Shadow base is is just that good. There's a there's not a reason now to run three copies of, of this card. Alright. The second shadow monster in the shadow monster now is my is my actually my second monster monster favorite monster and that is three copies of Shadow Hedgehog. Shadow Hedgehog is literally your straddles for the deck. When this card is played face up, you search play shadow spell or chop card from your deck almost 99% of the time it's gonna be shadow fusion and when this card is sent to the sent to the graveyard by a card effect you add a shadow monster from your deck so straddles basically uh, for the two ups I play two copies of shadow falco um, falco is a really good card but I think at the moment right now I don't think it is that important to have this to um to have this card in the early game so that you can actually play this card. This card, in my opinion, I think it is only good during the mid to late game stage when you need to come back because this card can get back any shadow monster from your from your graveyard, including Winda and and your con and your construct when they die. So that is the main reason why people are playing playing this card in the in the deck. But like I said, Bago is not that important I know it is a good card but you don't need to get this card early on so because like I said this card is only good in the mid to, mid to late game and when this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect it's specimen itself like that is only mediocre because if this if this could if, if this get pop on the on the same turn you don't get the effect you don't get it split because it, will, it is already activated so that is why you Two copies of Falco is 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 enough to to run in the deck. 
uh, the next two up is two copies of Shadow Dragon. Shadow Dragon is your compost and MST in the deck. When this card is played face up, it composes any card. Not just monsters, but, but any card in, in the field. When this card is entered the graveyard by a card effect, it destroys one spell or trap card on, on the field. You can combo this card with Sinister Shadow Games so that it acts as an end phase MST, so that card is really good. And this is a 19 beater, which is not that bad either. It is by far the strongest beast stick out of all the Shadow Monsters. Um, the final Shadow Monster line name deck is two copies of Shadow Squamara. Um, to be honest, I like the OCG name better, Shadow Lizard. I have no idea why they changed the name, but anyways, um, Squamara is kind kind of a Shadow Beast because when this card is sent to the Gribia by a card effect, it mirrors one Shadow card from your deck to the, to the Gribia. So if you like, um, use Foolish Barrier to, to mill this from the deck, its effect activates. So you can mill like a dragon to pipe a back row, you can mill a falcon in the late game so that you can so that Falco can bring back your other shadow monsters from the grave, you can mill a beast to draw a card, you can do so many things with this card. And when this card is fully face up, I forgot to mention that it pops pops one monster. So that is pretty good. One Alright, so next Non shadow monsters are coming up, and those are three copies of Mathematician. Alright, when I started this Jack Prophet video, I told you that I traded the uh, Armageddon Knight version, and I took Armageddon's on and played Mathematician instead. Not only Mathematician mills any shadow monster from, from, your, from your deck to the graveyard, excluding Shadow Beast. But this card is so good in conjunction with one police stand I write in the deck. Like, if you summon Mathematician and the Mill discard, that's an instant Black Rose Dragon or an Arcanine Mission to, to pop cards on, on the field. Like, that alone is, is so good to, to, to not run three copies of, of, of this card. Like, so, yeah. Mathematician version is good. He's good. Uh, next, next monster is two copies of Lila. This deck does fall to back row somewhat, and you need another back row destruction without having to rely on Shadow Dragon. So Lila helps with that, and plus it mills in the advance, and is it's a light target to bring a construct. And next monster is three copies of. Co Kaios the Shadow Monarch. I know three Kaios might be a little too much for the deck, but Kaios is so good against a mirror match. Like if they already have a construct or a window on the field to control control the board, you can you can either you can summon Kaios by trimming a Falco that's already activated its effect and then banish the window and the construct on the field. So Kaios is really really good in the deck. Like this this deck version of the deck is basically I build it to to have a better mirror, mirror match matchup. And to further increase the chance of me winning against a winning against a mirror matchup is is I also chose to play two copies of Vanilla Spin. Like this card is my tech MVP in the deck, like this card is so good. Like if you have a veneer spin and window on the field, you pretty much won because they cannot spread the summon in anything. Like veneer spin is is in general is a very very good good card against the meta right now because this meta right now tends to spread the summon a lot and veneer spin single single and then wins your games. Like. Like I said, if you have a vanilla spin and wind on the field, you basically win. Alright. Vanilla spin is a good card. That's why it's it's my tech MVP. And to finish the monster lineup is one BLS. Because you can actually bring it out. 
Um, that is actually a lot of monsters in the deck. I think there's like 23 to 24 monsters in the deck. Like, yeah. Okay, so for the spells, there's literally, I think, 8 spells? No, no, I think there are, there are, there are 7. Um, of course, you play 3 Shadow of Fusion. This card is so good. This is the main way to get out Winda and your Construct from, from your extra deck. And, like, this card is so good. And if you discard a Shadow Monster, they get their, get their effect too. Like, this card is nuts. You must play 3 copies of, of this card. And I know, yes, the Fusions, when they die, they can gra grab this card back. And Hedgehog can also search this. But this card is too good to not run to 3 copies of this card. Like, this sing this guy's not gonna handle any wins your games. Like it's not, it's not even funny. Um two copies of uh Monarch Stormfort because you can Stormfolk their window and their construct and their and their shadow monster if they if they have it. Not only do they do they get their effect, but you have a Venus Wind and a Chaos on on, on the board for tributing their monster. Like this card is it's very very good in in America right now because of against the, against the mirror match. Uh, this card is so good. Like if you uh, train on shuttles, uh, main Kaisers, and and this card and try it out. It like I said, it further increases your winning of winning the mirror match. Like this card is so good. Uh, but the one ups is one of lore cause literally all the monsters in the stack is dark, and one foolish barrier, and you can. Because you can make any shadow monster and you, you get their effect. You get their effect. And but the traps is three sinister shadow games. This card is like stupid. This card is literally a foolish barrier on crack. So what this card does is that its press effect is already good enough. When when you activate this card, it mills a shadow card. Not shadow monster, a shadow card. So you can mill a core and get a get a fusion back from your graveyard to, to your hand. And and then it flips up any shadow monster that you have in in face and defense position and then flips it back up. Thus activating their flip their flip effects. Like this card is like I said, is so dumb and stupid because it is broken. Like you can like there are so many combos that you can do with this card. Like, you can fl flip a Skomara to pop a monster. You can flip this to bounce a card. You can flip this to bring back a shadow monster from your graveyard. You can flip this to get a fusion or a core. And then you can flip this to draw two and then and then discard one. Like this card is broken. Like so broken. Uh, and one shadow core. I don't think you don't need to play multiples over this card. I think playing the one copy is good enough. Um, this card also has a nippy effect that you can that you can subject to this card for any shadow vision material that you need to bring a window and construct. But the main reason why you play it is to get shadow fusion back. So yeah. Um, chop. Triple breakthrough skill again, mirror match, and breakthrough breakthrough skill is so good of a card to not pass up because this card is is not only good against the mirror match, it is also good against Tunnel Knights because they like to do do their end phase call of the haunted plays a lot, and if you already have breakthrough skill in the graveyard, you can banish it so that w when they play card to bring back an Altair, a Vega, or a Deneb from the graveyard, you can change this to, to negate that effect. Like, yeah. And to round up the main deck is I play one Compass and one Warnick. I don't play bottom Bottomless because Bottomless is terrible against a Mirror Match because when they bring a window and you trade the bottom say their window does not die. Yeah. And for the extra deck, extra deck is nothing special. You play the two window, like, window is so good, so broken, like I said in the beginning of this video, like, so good. This card is very, very good. Because for one, you cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Neither player can special someone more than once per turn, but you don't really need to special someone that much once you bring window out. 
because you would literally bring this guy up and then protect it and then keep poking with it and your opponent cannot get it up the board because this cannot be destroyed by by their card effects like this card is so good like it gets kinda sucks if it gets bugged but when it dies it gets a shot of fusion packs so that you can literally bring bring it out again so yeah uh, I think 3 copies of window in the deck is kinda overkill but I can see why people are playing 3 copies because window is is that good of a card? Um, two copies of Shadow Construct. Like Construct, unlike Window, it no no no. no. I'm I'm gonna replace that. Construct is just as good as Window because it is a 28 beater. Like that alone is is big. Like it is a big beater. But its specific is when this card is summoned, you mill a Shadow card. So it's it is a Shadow Lizard effect. Squamara effect cook out and it beat but that is why this card is broken if this card attacks a special summon monster at the start of the damage set it immediately kills it that alone is so good because you can literally crash with, with the biggest monster with this card and then they die like yeah, that is so good. And just like window when it does, it gets a shot of spell or trap back from your graveyard to your hand. So and for the synchros, uh, one one Armadas, uh, going against a mirror match and Yang Jing too because Yang Jing's fall very hard to this card unless they flip skill drain. But if they flip skill drain, they flip skill drain. Like this is a very good card right now. Like it is like thirty five dollars, and there is there is a good reason why. Uh, one Gore Guardian calls why the hell not because you can literally because you can easily play this by using it with a Falco and a Lizard or a Dragon and all that other shit. Uh, one Iconite Magician and one Black Rose Dragon for a for the sevens. Uh, you can make this cut easily like I said in the Mad Magician Mad Magician Police play, and you can also make this with by synchroing a Falco and a Beast. Uh, one Beals, cause you can make it with a Caius and the Falco. Uh, one Leo, cause you can fuse it with the Falco and the Construct. And Leo is big and cannot be targeted by any anything, so that all none is good. And But the XCs there are five. Uh, one Exotan Knight, one Silent on Arc, one level of a chain because you can mill any card from the deck. Uh, no, no, let me replace that. You can mill any shadow card from the deck and they get their effect. Uh, one Abyss Stroller. I know this card has not seen much play, but I still like it. And one cast out for the mirror match. So that is my shadow deck profile. Hope you guys enjoy it. Comment, like, subscribe, and peace out, guys. Peace out.